Tom here from Lauren Systems, and due to some changes that have occurred since I did my last Unify network application setup video, especially around MongoDB, I wanted to make a new one for version 8 series that has the updated versions of Mongo and an easier way to install this because, well, that request has come. Now, if you're coming from your old controller and you want to upgrade your old controller and do this, that's going to be a pain. Just back up the data, re-import it into the new controller. That's going to be your fastest path to success. And we're going to use the UI Glenn script because it's easy and if you didn't get it by the name UI Glenn, he happens to work for Unify, and therefore these scripts were, well, put together by a Unify employee to make setting up the network application easy. And we're going to walk you through not only how to do it, but also how to update it. So let's get started. Now I'll leave links to all these things down below, but we're going to start here with the Unify installation script in the Unify forums, which is the Unify Glenn script. There are some command line parameters that you can specify if you have some specific needs to customize it. We're just going to go through a basic install, but these are pretty easy command line arguments to figure out if there's a few other things you need to do, such as set up a custom DNS, custom URL. I have a whole video talking about multi-hosted controller. You can still use this script to build your controller in the cloud, wherever hosting provider you want, or at home and set your DNS up. I have that video linked down below as well. We're just going to cover getting the controller itself set up to keep this video short. I want to point out if you download the script right from the UI Glenn page, they're in reverse order. So you actually start with the Unify application version 5.5.24 and goes all the way down here to the bottom. And the latest version available here in January of 2024 is 8026. But we're actually going to download 8024 because I also want to show you how easy this is to update. So let's go ahead and download this one. We're just going to right click and do a copy of the link. Now I'm here at the command line of my Debian 12 system. This is just a vanilla base load of Debian 12. I did customize the command prompt because I do that for all my lab servers. And then I have wget loaded. So we're going to wget that script, the one we copied from the link there. All right, the script is on here. And now we're going to kick off the install and walk through the steps. Now, because I'm not running as root, we're going to use sudo bash and the name of the script, unified 8024. It's going to start installing the prerequisite tools. We're going to go ahead and say yes to keeping the script. Yes, we want to proceed with updating. Now for this part, I want to say yes, but this is an option you have of whether or not you want this to be pulled from the app repositories or manually download each new version of Unify. In this case, we're just going to say yes. That way, when we do apt-get update, it'll actually update the version of the Unify system and all the other packages in this Debian system. All right, and the system is complete. We're going to go ahead and go to this link here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that link. We're going to agree to the license terms, hit next. It's up to you. If you want to sign into your UI account, I'm going to click advanced because we want to skip that step. I just want to locally host the controller, set up a username and password. We won't put my real email in here. Just click finish. And the system's good to go. The first thing I really feel I have to do is change it to a dark theme. Hit apply changes. Go back over to the dashboard and you can see we're running the Unified Network Controller 8024. Now, as I said, I want to show you how to update it. So we're going to bring our terminal back up and we're going to do a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get upgrade. And it wants to update my Unify and we'll say yes. It's going to download right from the Unify site, the latest version, 8026. Do you have a backup? Hopefully you do. Say yes. All right, it's completed with the update. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. It wants me to log in again, and you can already see we're running version 8026 here. And we're back in running the latest version. Now, I suspect there's already someone left a comment down below before they've got this far in a video asking, what about Docker? Well, you're in luck. There is a video linked down below to my friend Jim, who did a tutorial on how to set up the Unify controller in Docker. Check that out if you'd prefer to do this in Docker. Also, if you'd like to set up a multi-hosted controller, I've got that video down there along with all the DNS settings and everything you have to do to get that set up properly. If you want to set up a multi-tenant cloud controller to host for all of your clients, well, as we do ourselves. Nonetheless, love hearing from you leave your thoughts and comments down below. Check out those other videos. Links to the things I talked about are down there as well. Join our forums for a more in-depth discussion on this and other topics, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.